Hi everyone. So in the last video, we have covered the Docker setup. We are able to spin up the Docker container for MongoDB and Node.js. In this video, we will try to update the models which we have for user and message and we will try to add the methods and schema definition. So the, I'm talking about MongoDB schema definition. So we have like uh, some columns in the user and uh, in the message tables. So we'll try to add that. First of all, see all. And here we have user. So user schema will be the same here. What we have is we will just import few things from mongoos and const user schema equal to new mongoos dot schema and in this schema what we do is we define all the properties we wanted to have in our tables like we have a username and types for this and email all the validation for the email okay so first username is type string and then we have unique property I mean we wanted to keep a uh, username unique same goes with the email and required property is true same thing we can achieve for email type string unique required and validate another property so these are all mongodb validations which we can have is email first of all it should be email if it is failed to do the validation no valid email provided other attributes we can have is password role and all that we can just add password and role okay now what else we have to do for the mongodb schema we can like user is being saved right so we will be hashing the password and we can define the static and instance method for this mongodb model so there are many ways of doing it like if you wanted to check user exist or not then you can just use user schema dot uh, statics these are the statics method you will add so custom method I'm adding find by uh, username so async here we have a function we are passing the username and uh, let user equal to await we can use async await this dot find one so find one will be applied to the user entity only uh, find one should be here in this find one we are going to pass the username I mean, just, we can just spread the property so if we got the user it means we got the user and uh, user equal to we will await and based on the email we will try to find it out this dot find one and we are passing email Okay, it can be okay you are passing username and email let's customize it so first of all you found the username and now you are trying to just check do we have email exist okay then what we will do is we will return user or I just wanted to keep it simple only so I am just checking if this user exists or not first of all so find by username okay another statics method you can have is the about save user save and remove save what the user save will do it will actually generate the hash password so we have to just write this function so whenever we are going to save a user we have to generate the hash password this is instance method we have salt value and bcrypt we are using this particular module right and then while doing a login we also have to validate the password right so that we can define here so by defining these in statics method we are able to uh, call them directly using the mongoose model object validate password so it is comparing with the current document password with the 
argument which we have passed and now we are exporting this particular module export default user similarly we can define the message schema message schema will be little simple not complex as we have user why we have okay i'm talking about models here in the message entity it will be little simple we have only message it has only text and user id i mean who created this message so whenever we are deleting a user here you see the catch when we are deleting a user i think i updated a wrong file so whenever we are updating a user then we are deleting so whenever you are removing a user we have to remove all the messages associated with that user so here we are put a hook so before you remove first remove all the messages from the message column message collection this dot model dot message delete many where user id is this okay and this was my resolvers so just rolling back this yeah now what we will do is we have defined a schema for message and user what we will do in next video we will try to write the the resolvers and mutation for both this is the actual one for user okay we have wrote only the mutation for the user only and if you see the schema for the user in the mutation we have to define all these methods which is sign up login update user delete user and here come the user mutation i will just copy it so i will remember what all methods i need to write copy it somewhere because method name should match so first of all sign up in the mutation sign up we are getting all the attributes okay and then we have the login then we have update user delete user so delete user which particular id we wanted to delete and here data source now coming back to this data source which we are mentioning everywhere right like in this particular query and mutation this data source is nothing but a models we are getting right so this is nothing but a context while creating the server we are passing context so that we need to come back here apollo server so it takes different arguments we have talked about this what all options you can pass so this is called context and if i just specify the simple context we are going to import models here from the db Models from the same. It's a default export from the SRC model, and C models I will be passing because it will be having both user and message entity. And another thing I will be passing is the me current logged in user. Okay, so I will be calling get me method for it. get me method we can define like a sync await or something calls to get me so what we will do in this what happens like you logged in right now you if you are logged in and you are coming back what we want is your user data logged in user information should always be in the request object this we do in the middlewares if even if you write a simple express the logged in user after token validation we put the user object in the request so that in the inner routes you can access the current logged in user so while creating the message we would need this that who is the logged in user and who is creating the message because we will be passing the user id okay so we will extend this in the next video